Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about dangling else problem in compiler. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about how context-free grammar is helpful in identifying the syntax analysis. We have done some context-free grammar for expressions. Please watch those classes and come back here. The basic understanding should be provided for understanding this class. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's try to understand what's dangling else problem with an example. If you write uh, all programming, most of the programming languages uh, work the same way. If expression is there, then inside this if statement, if you are having a nested if statement, if expression, then inside that we are having one more nested if expression, then statement any statements we will write here else statement if you write like this this else should be matched to the nearest if nearest unmatched if so this else should be matched to the nearest unmatched if this else belongs to this if this is how programming languages works so now take one more example if expression then if expression then if expression then statement else statement else statement we are having two else this else is a match to the nearest unmatched if so if this if belongs to this else this else belongs to the nearest unmatched if means for second if this is how programming languages works so in during the compilation phase we have to identify that how to identify that if you write an uh, this is an ambiguous grammar for uh, uh, identifying this if else statements uh, let's see what uh, how they are going to identify we are writing a statement stmt means statement uh, tends to if if you find expression then statement uh, this is one production if expression then statement else statement this is another production and other statements are there if you use this ambiguous grammar this is an ambiguous grammar in identifying if else statements if you use this identity uh, ambiguous grammar let's take an example what's problem you will get with this ambiguous grammar if expression then if expression then statement the statement we named it as s1 else statement s2 if you want to identify this because of this ambiguity we are having two different ways to identify this if else statements one way is a statement tends to if expression then statement if you elaborate this statement statement tends to if expression then s1 statement else s2 statement yes this is elaborated correctly but there is other option also statement tends to if l if expression then statement else statement this statement if you elaborate it if expression then statement the first s1 is identified in this if statement 2 is given to this outer if this is what we call it as dangling else problem because why we got this dangling else problem because of this ambiguous grammar but you need to identify some complex context free grammar to identify to solve this problem so the logic to write the context free grammar is uh, this logic goes like this see here here you have to concentrate what's the logic is uh, for the first if there is no else so no problem for the second if there is else so whenever you are having if then else in between this then and else if you have any other if statement uh, that if statement should compulsory have else statement otherwise this else statement will be assigned to this inner if this is what the condition is if then if you have else in between this then and else if you have any other if statement that if statement should compulsory have else statement otherwise this else statement will be assigned to this inner if so in order to get this condition we have to change our context free grammar how we change that context free grammar we are writing unambiguous context free grammar to identify this dangling else problem unambiguous grammar for dangling else statement 
our statements are divided into two parts one is matched statement and open statement so open statement we already know the above grammar which we have written that is what we call it as open statement if expression then statement if expression then matched statement else open statement here you have to concentrate whenever you are calling with if then else in between if you find any statement if it is if statement then it should compulsory have else statement that's why they separated a separate matched statement see what's matched statement matched statement definitely have if expression then matched statement else else part is there else matched statement otherwise our grammar will make it as a mistake that is how they are identifying the dangling else problem so now one more point you have to understand in the C programming language if you take an example if expression if expression if expression statement else statement automatically this, this else is assigned to this if statement suppose if you want to identify if you want to assign this else statement to the first if statement that's why they have changed the language okay they, they simply added some brackets to this so that you can easily write the context free grammar in the compilers to identify to which else it belongs to so that's why if expression brackets this else belongs to automatically belongs to the outer if this is how they changed the language in order to avoid the complexity here so brackets are helping us a lot hope you understand the concept of dangling else problem if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you